Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in Blender. So let's start. Press A, X and delete. Go to the add and click on armature. So first thing that we are going to make is, is the armature. After that we are going to make our uh, you know parts. Okay. So press 1 on your numpad. Select this, press R, enter the value of 90 degree. <coughs> uh, press tab, select this, press G and move it up to 2 meters click on here click on absolute grid snap select this press E and snap up to here ok select this press shift D G X and move up to here press R you can see it's rotating from here but I don't want it I want to rotate from here so click on here, click on individual origins, press R, enter the value of minus 90. Select this, press G and move it downwards. Let's see the extra mode to make sure it's in uh, at the correct location, G and here. Press E. Now go to the post mode. What you have to do is uh, select this by pressing shift select this press ctrl shift c click on inverse kinematics select this go to the bones click on inverse kinematics uh, make it one and lock so basically when you make it one basically this bone can now uh, ex you know expand and compress okay and by locking this this means that this bone uh, will no longer you know rotate or something like that like, for example if I select this and R you can see I am getting my desired animation now next question is now how to make parts and why I created the bone first so you see I want to create my parts based on the length of these parameters so this one is 1 meter uh, not issue but what about this one so select this press N and go to the edit mode and you will see that the length is 4.1231 meter okay so one by one we will create our parts so for the sake of simplicity just hide them so first I will create a one meter part so go here click on mesh click on circle press 7 on numpad and decrease the number of vertices to 8 decrease the whole size Point uh, one is fine. Now select this, press tab, go to the selection mode, press E, enter, and now press E to scale it. It's up to you how much uh, bigger you length you want. Select these things, press E, X, press S, X, zero. Okay. After that, what we are going to do is select this. Press G X 0.5. Select uh, now. Select this. Press G and move up to here. Now what we are going to do is go here. Click on mirror command. Uh, you see that it is taking the axis from here, but I want it. It takes the you know it mirror about this point. So what I can do? Select this. Go to object. Set origin. Origin to 3D cursor. So this is basically what I want to do. After that click on here, click on apply. Select this, press tab and press 7. Make sure that you are in face selection mode. Press C. Uh, select all the faces. Enter. Press E. And Set okay. First, switch of this click on here on subdivision surface. Uh, the result lo looks not that good, so we can add you know cuts so like this. Press tab. No. Press Ctrl R.
press S, set. Alt for some reason they are not moving. I don't know why. So that is all set. G set. Or small G Z and move down. Press A. Press Control R. S Z so this is something look like this. Let's let's use this one. Okay. Now let's make other parts. We will you know do more things later onwards. So select like this and name it grand. Uh select like this hide. Now let's see what's like the bone. And I need the length of this one. So this one length is 4.1231. Okay. So let's see how it will create a new part. Go here, add circle, tab, E, enter, scale it. So what I have to do is I want to move half times 4.1231 uh, 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 vertical lengths. Uh, 4.1231 like, like somewhere. 4. Okay. So Slide it. So let's see what will be the value of. Uh, I will move in x location. So four point one two one two three one divided by two. Okay, it's actually move the armature. So basically, I want I don't want to move the armature. Hide it like this. Just tab, press A, or just go to the object modes like this. Go here and type 4.1231 divided by 2. Now it's like this. Just tab. Uh, in a section modes like these edges. Press E X zero. Uh, press G X and move it somewhere. Press S X and zero, not E X zero. Uh, so that was my fault. Click on here. Press G and move it to here. Again, go to the object mode. Right click. Uh, set origin origin to 3D cursor. Now. Or I something star plus a side go here and click on mirror. Now, uh, where is the mirror? So, this looks fine to me. It's like this and just uncheck this, just tab, select the place mode, press E and extrude it as per requirement. So this is the second part. Okay. Now press Alt H to show everything. So G so G So first thing I will do, we have to place this one. So select this. Just 
press or touch here as well. Uh, select this. Shift S plus to be selected. Press tab. Now select this. Click on here. Tab. Press or touch. So. Select the inner face of this circle. Now press Shift S, press it to be selected. Tab. Object set origin to 3D cursor. Now select this. Tab. Select this. Shift S, press it to be selected. Select this. Object set origin to 3D cursor. Press Ctrl Z. Note this one. Shift S. Uh, selection cursor. Press 1. So first thing that I'm going to do is uh, press R X 90. After that, I will do R Y minus 90. Okay. Now similarly press R X 90. Now what I can do is like this. Tab like this. Shift press press to be selected. For that, select this tab. Uh, you can see the origin is here, but I want the origin to here. So, what I can do? Face action mode. Select these faces, shift task, press it to select it. Tab, object set origin, origin 3D cursor. Press control that. Now, uh, before I do that, make sure that you apply the mirror command. After that, uh, do it. Um, Now I want to move it here. It's like this. Tab. It's like this. Shift S. Press it to be selected. It's like this. Shift S. Selection of cursor. Press one. Now I want to rotate it. Rotate. As you can see, it's perfectly aligned already here. So I don't have to worry about much other things. Okay, now what I have to do is I have to add gears and other things. So let's do other parameters. So before I do that, uh, let's align these objects correctly. So like this, press G and Y. Now I have to add two things that is a gear and a rack pinion and a empty. Uh, equation is why is empty because I am going to copy paste the location. So select this, press tab, click on divide icon on your numpad so that you can isolate the view. So by pressing Alt Shift, sorry, by pressing Alt Shift, okay, it is not selecting. Uh, shift S, press it to be selected. Press 7 or press 1 on your numpad. Tab. Go to the add and add an em uh, empty here. Select this and by pressing shift, select this. Press Ctrl P, click on object. And now divide icon again to, uh, to see all the parts. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make them bond with these parts. So, let's see how to call this. So, go to the object. Uh, select the bone, go here, click on pause mode, go to edit and make sure that you uncheck this. Now select the part, after that by pressing shift select the bone, press ctrl P, click on bone. Similarly select this part, after that select this bone, by pressing ctrl P, click on bone. So if I select this and press R, you can see I am able to rotate it. And this is basically what I want. Now the next thing that I have to do is, I have to add basically you know my gears. So how to I can do that? So go to the add mesh and click on gears and master test. Just to know that this add-on only works uh, below three version. If you are using above three version or 2.93, uh, this add-on will not work. So that is the reason I am doing this in 2.93.
So click on gauge and test. Uh, make the number of gear as per requirement. Uh, but I think that 15 is fine. Plus I will reduce the module and decrease the hole diameter and decrease this width. So just remember that, that my module is 0.08. Okay. Uh, make sure that you note down some notebook because in my case I have noted down on my notebook okay that my module is 0 0.08 meter. It is very important thing and the number of teeth is 15. Now after that just click on the workspace like this and R X 90. Now what I have to do is like this, go to the add mesh, click on gauge and master test. Uh, instead of spell, click on drag. Enter the value as per requirement. So you can increase this rack. Uh, 33 is over here, I guess. I think 30 is this much is fine. Select this, press tab, press select edge mode. By pressing shift, select this two. Press E, X, and press F to fill it. Uh, press one on your numpad. Press R and rotate it 90 degrees. Press G, uh, Z, G, X, and align as per requirement. G X G Z. Now a question arises: How can I rotate the gear here? So for that, there are two ways. Uh, you can use drivers or you know constraints. So I'm going to use constraint in this case. So select this gear. Uh, go to constraints. Click on transformation. So empty map from. So what I want if let's open the Kelsey. Uh, remember that my module is 0 0.08. So 0 0.08 into number of t that is 15. So I will get the value of diameter into pi. So this is the piece circle diameter so that is 3.7699 and 3.7699 and I will move downwards I have to so basically I want to rotate rotate along along which axis y axis and where I getting the input I am getting the input from x so it will rotate this degree okay so this is basically what I mean so let's see what I will see get so select this go here post mode select this press R okay I am getting the motion but here is the fault that it is not moving uh, the only constraint that I have basically defined is just to you know rotate but I doesn't define you know movement along so I again click on location uh, using another so click on empty I only want to copy the execution thing else so select this press R So like this, press uh, notice something that it is little bit here, it is not properly doing it. Click on a stop rate, and this might work. Yeah, a stop rate, sorry. So extrapolate uh, the answer of it. So after extrapolate, you can see it is working. Now only thing left is to do the animation. So animation is quite easy. It's like this. Instead of doing XYZ, press XYZ. So let's see. So this is the node, the right axis. Y is also node, the right axis. Z is the right axis. Okay. 
So press I. I will go to the frame 120. Enter the value of 60. Press I again. Uh, select these two keyframes. Press T. Click on linear. If I hard the armature, you can see this is how it looks like. Select this. Press tab. Press C. Increase this. Enter. Now scale it down till we don't see that all. Checking it is not doing any unnecessary or unusual function. So this is how it looks. Press Control Z. So select this. What I am going to do is scale by pressing Shift Y. Shift Y basically means the hey, that don't do scaling along Y axis. Okay, now you can give the color as per requirement. Okay, uh, I am not very good at coloring or rendering. I am not going to lie. Just change the colors to white. So this is how we can make this model. If you want, you can. Uh, you know, download this model link in the description, okay? And it also supports me to create more and better contents. So, that's for all. And make sure that you guys check out my other courses, uh, link in the description. But who knows that you might like it? How to make you know motion graphic animations in Blender. So, that's for all. If you have any kind of talks and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.